I did not know how to do a review of this episode without it containing some spoilers of some sort. Some. I mean, it's not a whole bunch. I'm not, I'm, I'm not really trying to... There are a bunch of details I'm leaving out of this, but still, you know, if you want a spoiler-free experience, I recommend hitting stop now. Anyway, it immediately jumped into action. Massive action deep in the forest. A bit too much jumping around kind of swordplay, kind of the, some of the stuff that you saw in the, uh, the prequels, uh, you know, episodes 1, 2, and 3 of uh, the original Star Wars, right? Um, yeah, that just when they just you just get too much going on, it just it starts to just look silly. Like, like look at me! <laughs> I don't know. It just it just it, when there's too much going on like that, it just it looks silly. It it, it looks it, it makes me think of people a whole group of people playing the, the, this video game where every it's it's only supposed to be for two two characters, but it, no, now you've got like five or six, and they're just I'm just like eh, that's just annoying to watch. It's just kind of dumb. To me, to me, I mean, as as far as being entertained, that just doesn't cut it for me. So, I like the choreography in the previous episodes, and within this this massive sword play over the top video game looking kind of stuff, uh, it had massive carnage of Jedi's. There were some lightsabers that were temporarily disabled in the fights. They they came back, but then. Later, there was a lightsaber that got destroyed. It's just like, well, that's a, that's a first. From what I know, I, I haven't been, I mean, I mean, after The Force Awakens, after that one, I, I just didn't really watch many others. So this is the first, you know, that I've really watched any of this new stuff. So besides The Force Awakens. So the helmet of the unnamed master was destroyed. People could see his face. Ooh, ooh, scary. You know, it's not really scary. Not at all, really. And he basically said that people would call him Sith. That he still doesn't like to be named, but people would call him Sith. Who almost got eaten by flying creatures in the forest. The twins meet each other, but it doesn't go exactly as planned, as either of them had planned. Then Sith has a couple more lines to say, and it's the end of the episode. There we go. C credits. The pacing is terrible. These episodes are way too short to have anything to really sink your teeth into. These, these episodes should be an hour. This, this one was a half hour. I give this a 3 out of 10. It wasn't the worst thing I've seen, but it's really, really poorly executed. You know, again, the pacing is just terrible. It was a little bit confusing at times, especially, you know, there, there was, there was the, the choreography of one of the fights. It's just, it's just everyone bouncing around and the swords just kind of... The, uh, the lightsabers. And Sith is not a believable character, at least not yet. It just, it just, so far this series has been just kind of lacking in soul, if that makes any sense. Perhaps I shouldn't use that because I don't really believe in souls, but when you say that as a phrase, it has a different meaning. I don't know whether I can pin it on the script, the acting, or the directing. I'm confused as to how a series can start with such intrigue and curiosity and then become something so mediocre or poorly executed. I mean, if anything, it should be the other way around. I think of, uh, like, Star Trek The Next Generation, right? You know, when, when, they, when they first started, their characters weren't really, they weren't really sunk in quite, en quite enough yet, uh, like the, the first season, right? Um, and then by the second season, they, they really they had it down a lot better, you know? Now, we're, we're, we're just still within the, the first season of this, and if it's starting to look bad after just a few episodes, that's not very good. I'm still curious about episode six when it comes up, so I haven't completely lost interest in just knowing more about it. Not like what happened with Rings of Power. In Rings of Power, that's, a, that's the ultimate of that. You know, it starts off seeming, seeming not too bad, and the further you go into it, it just turns into a pile of garbage. So far, if I was to recompile how I feel about the acolyte, you know, as of you know, and include the, these these latest episodes, I would give it an overall five at this time. If episode six is even worse, or is just as bad as this one, then uh, then my overall score will probably be a four. <laughs> so, uh, I am not impressed right now. I'm not impressed at all.